Hey guys, so I am in a different room because I've moved rooms. Long story, I did talk about it in a previous video that I filmed, but I'm not sure which one of these are going up first. But anyway, I went to London, wasn't so successful. It's quite, it's like two o'clock now. I explained it in the vlog, but it's just too hot and muggy today. But we're just gonna jump into what I bought. I didn't buy too much. First store I actually went into was Zara and they had a sale on like every other shop in there and it was pretty it was like quarter past ten but people were like complaining and shouting about the queue being too long and that people were bulk buying stuff upstairs and we had to go downstairs it's a big kerfuffle we had to wait in line for ages to buy stuff the first thing i bought was this jacket and i'm gonna do like wearing clips and i think this is the jacket i wanted on the website that i saw but it was on sale for 19.99 because it was sale, obviously. And originally it was 29.99, so I got 10 pounds off of that, which I thought was really good. It's just like a black nylon jacket, but then it's like a textured fabric on the back. So I like that. Then I bought two fragrances because I was spurred on by Cal's Out or Calvin. Link below, because um, he's been talking to me about how good one of the Zara fragrances was but I completely forgotten the name of it when I went in there but some of them were on sale as well but I first picked up this one called Zara Man Gold and this was only 5 99 for 30 mils and I thought that quite smelled quite nice and then I bought this massive Zara Sport 41 which is 12 99 and I don't know how much it was originally it was on sale but it was 14 99 this one was 12 no £5 originally, that's its full price, but this wasn't £12.99 originally. But it's 100 mils for 12, like 13 quid, who can complain? For that, and that smells, I really like that smell, but if they had a smaller bottle, I would have got a smaller bottle. Then I made my first purchase at Cos, which, if you don't know, it's like a sister brand to H&M, but a bit more expensive, and it is quite a bit more expensive. Well, it's not really that much more expensive. Things are under 100 quid, but they also had a sale. But they wrap things so nicely, look at that, they wrap it up for you and everything and I was like okay. Now I've wanted to go and cos for a while but I've been looking at their like stuff online and to be honest it's not really my thing. Although I do really want to wear stuff like that. I'm not, I don't want to un thingy it so I'm just going to pull it out. All it is is a t-shirt. And it was 30% off so it was originally £19 but I got it for 13 something and it's just this t-shirt which I think was quite different it's got navy and white stripes but then orange and blue stripes orange and blue yeah orange and blue in the middle or navy which I thought the orange was very Jamie so I quite like that t-shirt that was a really quick haul I didn't buy much I went into Primark I went into Top Man I went into Uniqlo I went into where else other places Top Man Oxford Street I mm, I was a bit, I've been in there loads of times, but I was just overwhelmed by the selection and everything. I might order stuff online because it's just like, uh, I wanted some black shorts, but I just couldn't really find many because there's literally so much stuff in that store. And I found some in Primark, but I wanted to travel like a tumbler, you know, like when you go to get a to go cool to go mug from like Starbucks or Costa or something, something like that. You can buy hard plastic ones in Primark. Couldn't find them for the life of me. Anyway, that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.